place here at Thompson, and so adding yet another division of modifieds to our lineup of the 10 race series. Yeah, they'll be here uh, nine more times in 2019. A lot of these drivers are graduates from uh, the go-kart series. Mikey Flynn, the first thing he did when he uh, left the go-karts, he went into late models, and then like most of his pals, switched to the light modifieds. And that's where he is right now. As we get ready to light the fuse for 20 laps of fireworks. The pace car has found sanctuary. We find action. Pete, they are going up to speed. Green flag is in the air and the outside row gets the jump. The 55 of Hodgson will lead him down into turn one, but just like that, Narducci comes back right in the middle of the turn, hammer down, makes the pass for the lead. And there are a little contact, some sparks flying between Narducci and Hodgson. Moving in the third, that is Wayne Burroughs, his first ever light modified race at Thompson. And then it's Brett Gagne running fourth. They uh, string it out a little bit up here at the front. The uh, top five, now six all in a straight line as they head out of turn two and down the back stretch. But Narducci showing some muscle here early out in front, leads by three, now call it four car lengths out of turn four. Losing a couple of positions was Keith Caruso at number 11. Now we have a battle for fourth. Here comes Alexander Pearl, and he makes a catapult move to get into fourth place. Pearl up to the fourth spot, and now puts some distance between himself and the fifth place runner, trying to catch for that battle for third. Out there he is the 88 of Brett Gagne, and Gagne has his hands full too. As right behind him is John O'Sullivan in the 15 car. Then we have Mikey Flynn in the 54. Up at the front, Narducci trying to pull away from Teddy Hodgson. Right now, Narducci is on his own island. And here comes O'Sullivan looking to make life miserable for Brett Gagne. Yeah, O'Sullivan uh, pulls within a car length on the backstretch. Once again, looks down low, but not enough momentum out of the turn to pull alongside. He'll follow Gagne down the front stretch. So a pretty good move by Andrew Less to pick up a position. And it looks like Hodgson might be gaining a little on our leader, Brian Arducci, the last lap. Uh, Brian was 20.249, now 20.106, and 20.044 is Hodgson. So Narducci is slightly quicker. And he opens that lead up again. He lost a length or two. And the uh, second spot is able to reel him in ever so slightly. Hodgkin pulls a little closer in the middle of the turn, but then Narducci opens it right up on the straightaway. Wayne Burroughs maintaining his number three position in the Crystal Auto Mall, number 32. He is being chased down by Alexander Pearl. Two years ago, Alexander won the Mini Stock Championship at Manatnock Speedway and then got promoted into the light modifieds. Ethan DeRocher is on the sidelines. Down on the pit road early in this one, only eight laps complete of the 20 lap feature for the light modifieds. Well, we have a scramble a little deeper in the pack. Noah Corner going to work on the inside in that golden number 31 car as he is trying to get under Stephen Chapman in the 14. So uh, also Cal Therian in the 07. So the man on the move right now is uh, Nathan Corner. Uh, and fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth pretty much running nose to tail out of turn four. Now, Brett Gagne shows the way around, but within striking distance is O'Sullivan right behind him down the back stretch. And two other guys in that battle, Mikey Flynn in the 54 and Burt Willett and the Streep Chiropractor number 151. So they are in the upper tier of the field. But Brian Arducci, it looks like that lead is shrinking and now it'll be completely eliminated as a car plastered the turn four wall and now rests on the straightaway. So a vicious hit coming off of turn number four, Ed Chikowski wound up in uh, Wheatland. 
known as the Black Pearl in the go-kart ranks. Okay. Right now, Alexander shining pretty brightly in the number four position. As it looks, Pete, that we are about to get busy once again. Lights are off on the pace car, indicating we'll go back to uh, green flag racing when they make their way back around here. And now <clears throat> restarting side by side, just like they did at the start, Brian Narducci and Teddy Hodgson. As they get to the middle of the turn, all eyes on the flag stand and the green flag is up and back underway. They are side by side across the stripe. And trying to beat Narducci to the corner, Teddy Hodgson on the outside, getting a lift from the outside corner, but it's Brian Narducci who will lead the field into turn four. Hodgson hangs tough there on the outside. Now Narducci able to uh, slide up in front of him. They just barely touch off that fourth turn. Matter of fact, they are bumper to bumper down the straightaway as Hodgson looking for another opportunity to get up alongside. And Hodgson, he almost had the back bumper into a bear hug. He's going to try again. They go into turn number four. Narducci, the thickest vapor trail belongs to him. Alexander Pearl has moved into third. And John O'Sullivan, a very underrated driver. He is good at whatever any kind of division he is in. He is running fourth. And Wayne Burroughs is fifth. Burroughs made a nice move up on the outside of Ganya to uh, take that spot and uh, into the top five right now as he's uh, trying to make a march towards the front. Boy, Ryan Narducci, he is going as quick as he can, but Teddy Hodgson is still within striking distance in car number 55. Here comes Mikey Flynn. Dive bomb move down low. Can he complete the move at the exit of the corner? No, he can't, and Ganya holds on to the number five position. And here he goes again, down underneath Ganya, but just doesn't have enough to make it stick. Ganya up on the outside, uh, has the momentum to launch off the turn and regain the spot. So with each move, that trouble in the middle of the turn for the 54, he just can't get on the throttle soon enough. And Andrew Les is back in the picture in car number 72, trying to corral the back bumper of the Flynn car. Now we go to the top of the field. Narducci has some separation between himself and the 55 of Hodgson, leading by the length of a light pole down to the final two and a half laps with Narducci in command. Yeah, that is his biggest lead so far of the race, and they'll see two laps to go this time by. Narducci takes that lead down across the stripe, two to go. Hodgson has uh, almost a half a straightaway over the uh, 49, so running in, running in the third spot. And let's see if John O'Sullivan can work his magic against Alexander Pearl. He has room on the inside. Let's see if he can boogie underneath him. The answer is no. Wayne Burroughs back to life. Here is Narducci. The white flag is out. Brian Narducci is one lap away from his fifth consecutive victory at Thompson Speedway. He's got a great lead and a great battle from third on back. We talked about Pearl and O'Sullivan and Burroughs all together down into turn three. But here they come across the strike. Narducci wins it. Hodgson will be second. Here's that race for third, almost three wide. Too close to call at the line. We'll have to wait for the official scoring on that one to let us know who finished third. And our scoring shows us it was Alexander Pearl who finished third by a...